Hey guys, welcome back to more or less play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Did I say Skyward Sword in the last episode? I'm gonna be so mad at myself if I did. But anyways, um, there's a really foggy area out here. Oops. Dude, I wanted to be a wolf man. Is this ice? Or is it water? It's ice. Oh. It just had to have one of those. Had to have one of those. But you know what? This is a... Uh, I think this is the only warp point in all of Snow Peak. So if you need something, say in the... Uh, in the middle of the mountain or something, then you're kind of screwed over a little bit. Oh gosh, I thought I almost jumped off the edge. That would have been bad. Dude, I had them all there. What? Dude, I'm holding the B button. Dude, I'm holding the B button. Kill them. Thank you. Only took a minute. That's pretty good. I think I've done it faster on harder on harder uh, things, because that was only a circle, but okay. There's that guy up there. Actually, I don't think he's a guy. I don't know, though. But whatever he is, I don't want to scare him with a wolf with a little imp on his back, so let's go talk to him. Oh, hey, look at the fish. Oh, wow. I heard Rocky saying, oh, I just see human. I see humans not often. Oh, why human comes to nose? You want spiritual journey? You look for true stuff? No. I'm not. I'm sorry, Mr. Guy. Uh, you look for me in such a faraway place. But you make good climb, and you're lucky to meet me. I found shiny mirror piece. Same mirror you look for, huh? Uh, you come to house to see yourself. I caught fish. Make hot meal, at least. My house far away. We slide there, huh? Do like me. Come. That that was my voice for the Yeti. I'm sorry if I, like, offended anyone with that voice. But this part is really cool. I really like this part of the game. Uh, because you, you end up doing it later. To get a heart piece. Oops, dude. Oh, A does a roll. Dude! There! Holy crap, now we get to sled down the mountain. Where is the... There it is. Also, pay attention to, uh... Crouch makes you go faster. A also jumps. You gotta pay attention to... I, I'm thinking that you control this with the Wiimote. No, you actually control it with the control stick. Which I wasn't expecting. Oh, so if you crouch and then let go of A, that's how you jump. Cool. Oh god, I hit the thing again. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to hit you. Oh, I missed the tree. That's basically how you have to do it later. You have to jump off of that tree to have a chance. Dude, 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 stop being mean. Uh, but see that little thing right there? That kind of goes off like that on the map there? You need to use that to have a chance at winning the mini game. Ow. Oh, you're not supposed to hit that. I, you can break it! What? I'm just gonna crouch, because crouching makes me go faster, I think. I'm sorry I hit you guys earlier, I didn't mean it. I'm very sorry for my actions. I hope you accept my apology. Whoa! I'm amazed I did that. I wasn't expecting to do that. But we're seeing railing now on the side of the mountain. And there's like a snow cone thing. We can't get on that right now, though. We'll go back for it. This snow cone... What? That's how you do it the right way. Oh my gosh. There. Gosh. 
Oh, wait, seven. I know we did that thing before, but jeez, we should be at like five right now. But anyways, uh, if you climb up this like snow cone turd thing or whatever, uh, there's a pole on top of it. You wanna get him? He's very good. Also, there are apparently five poles in a uh, on Snow Peak, and I know where four of them are. I think four. This is the fourth one that we've collected. I think this is either the third or the fourth. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, I fell. Oh man. At least I didn't fall off the entire cone. Alright, get the pole, soul. Yeah! Alright. We good. You know what? I'm gonna dig. It's gonna be great. Holy crap, 20 rupees. Wow. That was nice. Okay, let's turn off this stupid Spectre Vision so we can see. Okay. Alright, let's go. Here? What's with this guy? He's got a nice place for a beast man. Minna, that is kind of not nice. That That's almost discrimination. That's kind of against the law, pretty sure. Let's go inside. I'm wondering if I should cut that last, like, thing out or not. I probably will. I don't know how long of a video it's gonna be, though. This might be another shorter video. But anyways, there's a pole right there. This is one of the only temples in the game to have three poles. The reason it has three is because it shows you one of the poles. Most temples only have two poles. And then the Arbiter's Grounds has four, but those are required, so that's different. Like, seriously, you could skip through these guys if you want. Also, ice physics. Everybody loves those. Don't you know? I'm Canadian, I guess. But, um, spoiler alert, this is the next temple. I really like this temple. I really like the idea of it. It's really cool. Oh, that was a pun. Dude, I know there's something behind one of these. Maybe not? Okay. Uh, if we try to go up the stairs... This side is broken, and I think either the other side is broken as well. Yeah, the other side's broken as well. I was gonna say there was ice covering it, but... I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'll end it off soon, probably. It's, a, it's another who? It's another Yeti person. Oh, sorry, I have sickness. Also, black eyes. Come closer, so I can bite you. You cute little human. Husband told me you come, you wanna look at mirror? My husband found it, it pretty thing. But since I get a mirror, I get sick, and bad monsters appear. So many bad things happen since the mirror. It's a series of unfortunate events with the mirror. So we lock it in bedroom on third floor, where it hangs. Well, I, wait, I tell you where key is. And that we, we were given the map of the dungeon. Oh, the mansion, excuse me. Uh, you know how maps work, guys. Hopefully. Fear makes head blurry. It was probably in room marked by a symbol. It's on the first floor. Three floors! Actually, it's only two. That third floor is just a staircase. Holy crap, though, guys. Wow. Oh, my gosh. But uh, right now, can't even get up. Would you bring it? Start with door right here. Oh, yeah. Um, you know what? Uh, do I have any potions? Wait, do I seriously have to be pointing at the screen to for it to work? No. I want to empty this bottle out. That actually gave me a lot of health. Oh, well. Oh, there goes all of it. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go in this door first. This door first. This door. Maybe. 
Oh, is it this one? Dude, what the... Are these other doors, like, locked or something? Why can I not go in these doors? I want to get a potion! I guess... I'm not gonna get happiness. Oh, it's in here. Oh. Uh, oh, I forgot this guy's way. Why does look at that? Not hope this is weird. So I make soup for her. Fish Resort Village are most nutritious. You tired? You have some? I'll give you energy. It gives you energy. Um, yeah. You can get free potions in this temple. Simple soup. Smells like fish broth. Drink it to replenish two hearts. Um, if this temple didn't feel homely enough... Because it's a mansion. You can get free soup. Whenever you want. And throughout the dungeon. The soup gets better. It gets so good to the point where it fills all of your hearts up. No matter how many, health, how many healths you have. So that's kind of crazy. Also I don't know if I'm going to end the video here. Or if I'm going to maybe record a little. You know what I'm going to end it here. And then I might cut out that last failed thing at the end. Where I fell off the side. Jeez. I'm gonna cut out the trip back, maybe. I don't know, though. Either way, I'm gonna end it here. So next time, guys, I'm more or less play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. We'll go farther into this dungeon, the Snow Peak Ruins. Uh, we'll probably not have to finish it next episode, but we'll get the dungeon key, I guess. So see you then. Bye bye